without any disruption. So that's why the Buddha also, over 2007 years ago, the Buddha established the community of the Sangha. That is the deity. Based on the deity in Sila, we have to live together. As long as we have such a concept or such a conventional truth, our Sangha society will not be disrupted. Will not be disrupted. Rather, it will remain longer and longer, even forever. So, here in this very grand uh, conference, the message I would like to give is that if the society, if a society is established on the conventional truth or fictional reality, it is not sure to remain or to sustain it. Uh, to a longer extent. But if only when we can establish this kind of society based on the ultimate reality, that is the Paramatma Sajya, so the Buddha just revealed ultimate reality. Because most of the people in the world they are trying to establish on the conventional truth or fictional reality. But Throughout the history, there is only one religious leader, that is the Buddha, who was able to reveal the ultimate reality, able to establish a society on the base of the ultimate reality. So as long as we keep ourselves, uh, we encourage our people to, if, to be able to understand the ultimate reality, I make sure that we uh, our society, in the, even in the 21st century or maybe 22nd century or longer than it will, uh, it will be what a sustainable society. Uh, uh, in my, in my words, it is a, it will be a smart society in the smart century. So, so I wish uh, all the all the blessings to the conference, uh, to the success of the conference, and also to all the participants. Thank you so much. We give a big hand to the first message from International Devananda Buddhist Missionary, University of Myanmar. Thanks for tuning in. And the next message from Chang State Buddhist University from Myanmar. May I invite most venerable Dr. Devita on the stage, please. Dr. Devita is a lecturer and head department of Buddhist sociology and anthropology.
religious extremism and the challenge of artificial intelligence. As we all know, many of these are man-made disasters. Therefore, the topic of our conference today is very much relevant to contemporary society. Buddhism has much to offer to the society in the 21st century to be on the right direction. The Buddha teachings are timeless and adaptable to any challenges in whatever century, provided that we examine it carefully and mindfully. Right mindfulness, samasati, has to be the key in the Buddhist approach to the global crisis. We must be mindful of what is going on and what has happened and the impact it could have on humanity and our ecological environment. If we are mindful, we will be able to manage how to avoid the crisis, how to solve the problem and how to face them resiliently. In short, being mindful of Dukkha is the basic of all wisdom. As Buddhists, our duty is to always keep in mind the Four Noble Truths, which summarize the teaching of the Buddha. This Buddhist philosophy teaches us to recognize human problems in daily life from a universal perspective and then to identify their root cause. This means that we need to become increasingly aware and observant of the problems that surround us. Understanding the problems through their causes is the only way to find a solution and thereby to end the problems. This is the key approach in dealing with any crisis from Buddhist perspective. Education plays a central role in solving any crisis. Education from a Buddhist perspective means the practice of observing and understanding problem clearly from the point of view of the, noble, the Four Noble Truths. Buddhist education could also play a major role to help the society to develop self-understanding and to raise aware, uh, environmental awareness. Greed, hatred, and delusion or ignorance are the causes of all evils in the world. Therefore, promoting Buddhist education or by disseminating the Buddha's message to the global world would certainly increase compassionate social awareness and minimize our social problems. Based on this, let me bring your attention to a Buddhist educational institution in the Shan State of the Union of Myanmar. Due to the demand in the globalized world, global or international education is now a very much needed. In the Shan State of Myanmar, recently, two Buddhist higher education institutions were established. One is the Sariputta College, in Muse, in the border town of Myanmar in China, founded by Venerable Vishuddha in 2017. The other is the Shan State Buddhist University, founded by Venerable Professor Dr. Kamai Tamasami in Phil Oxford in 2016. This second institution is actually a co-organizer of this very conference at Mahamukut Buddhist University. The Sariputta College offers diploma and BA in Buddhist studies, mainly in English medium, and has produced 14 BA and 30 diploma graduates since its establishment. The number of students is increasing every year, and more facilities and qualified teaching staff are still needed to, be, to meet the demands. The Shan State Buddhist University, SNBU, is located in the capital of the state which is surrounded by mountains and enjoyable a cold climate. The Shan State Buddhist University is now offering MA and PhD courses in Pali and Buddhist studies as an international program. In the coming year, we were also offering postgraduate to, uh, diploma course to prepare students who are aiming at our MA program. SFU is now in its second year hosting both national and international students with full scholarships. It aims at bridging Eastern and Western academic and intellectual approaches 
and to produce international standard academic research and qualifying graduates. The Shanxi Buddhist University is now growing and attracting both national and international students and scholars to, be, to its vision and mission. We also have our own annual international conference. This year, our theme is the Bhattana, which is the text of Abhidhamma Vidika. It will be held on 9 to 10 November this year. As the university is still young, there is still ongoing construction work for many infrastructure, such as the main library building, convocation hall, student hostel, road, cinema hall, and academic training programs. But that does not prevent us from operating as a full functioning academic center. We would like therefore express our most sincere appreciation for being invited as a organizers of this conference and for giving the opportunity to our faculty members and students to present our academic research paper. Thank you very much, Graduate School of Mahamudu Buddhist University, for your kind invitation and cooperation with us. Thank you all the distinguished guests, scholars, and participants for your attention once again. Thank you so much, most valuable Dr. Kevita. Go down from the stairs to get some souvenir from Wise Lecture, please. And the next message from Hongdu Buddhist University from Lao. Please invite Venerable Prasokha Si Bun the President of Lao Student in Thailand.
text message from Vietnam Buddhist University. Most valuable, Professor Lehman Hunt, please invite on stage, please. Professor Lehman Hunt is the Vice Lecturer of Vietnam Buddhist University. about this 